All right, the beast draw knife part two. Now I have the uh, the handle material set up in here. This is a wild persimmon that was cut out of my my yard. I've got a bunch of these trees. Uh, several pieces laying around. Excuse me, I'm trying to talk with my dust mask in my face. But uh, what I'm going to do to start with, I'm just going to knock all the bark off. And then I'll measure out and we'll turn our handles down. Now this is, like I said, it's been in the shop for a good while. Very dry, very stable. And we'll see them here in just a little bit. First thing I'm going to do is try to get this whole piece pretty much the same uh what's that big fancy word circumference we're gonna get it round put it that way <laughs> now once again my buddy daryl thank you thank you thank you thank you for these lathe tools i touched this one up sharpened it up a little bit and i'm not the most experienced turner in the world so if y'all see me do something stupid oh well <laughs> Alright, here we go. Let's try it out. Just like that we'll keep going keep knocking off some bark i really need to move this camera because it's right in my way Okay, that's just about the shape I want. And the handles, he said he wanted bigger handles. That's just a slight taper from here up. <coughs> Pardon me. Now I'll go from here, slight taper from here up. That's five inches on each side. And then since I'm not the most experienced turner there is, I'll take this out and I'll cut it with a saw after I do some sanding. Let's uh let's 
move our tool stop down. I may have all this a little too tight. But I doesn't know until I try, right? Pretty close. Take a little bit more of this now. There's definitely a technique to be learned on this. <laughs> I think that's going to work just fine. That's an 80 grit sandpaper. And let me go grab a, a finer grit just to uh, smooth it out just a little bit more. Then we'll take it off and cut it, square it up, and that'll be ready to drill the holes and install. Now, one more thing I'm sort of concerned about very 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 slick let's put some uh i'm gonna put a couple of grooves in there for grip and we'll try to get them spaced off as close as we can right down through here mainly where your hands are gonna go That's some grip right there. Right, we'll do this side, then we'll take it out and cut it off. OK, 
came out very nice it's coming together now finish the grinding heat treat temper drill holes secure the handles and we'll be there all right let's get back on the draw knife it's been almost all day in town i've got a, about an hour before it gets dark i'm gonna go ahead and get it heat treated uh not feeling too well i had to get a shot my left arm hurts like you know what
this all that cleanup we did before polishing making it pretty and we'll do all that again I got it clamped down in my straightening jig just to make sure there's no warps and the next step when that cools off all the way it's uh, getting there on the dark so it might be in the morning but I'm gonna take it out and uh, scrub it up real good with some degreaser clean it good uh, clean up with the uh, sander again one more time then I will do the tempering which my little tempering oven in the shop is not big enough so I'll take that in the house and put it in mama's oven probably in the morning before she gets up so she don't know what I'm doing because I know y'all don't want me to get in trouble with mama <laughs> and I sure don't want to get in trouble with her so that will end Thursday afternoon and We'll finish up this video, finish up this knife in the morning. All right, draw knife is heat treated, tempered, cleaned back up. And let's go ahead and put our gun blue finish on it. Trying my best to get this finished up today. If I didn't tell y'all yesterday, I don't mind telling you. The doctor appointment was okay. What it was, I had months ago, I had taken the, the shingles vaccination. And it's a series of two shots. And I had to go take the second one yesterday. Uh, my doctor I me mean, we talked about it and decided that I should have that because mama has had shingle flare-ups and it is absolutely no fun and with that there is a few side effects when I took the first one of the same thing just drag you down a little bit For a couple of days i feel much better this afternoon i didn't do anything this morning i was laid up and slept most most of the morning up until about lunchtime and i came out but it was just something i feel like should have been done last year way last year i took the uh, pneumonia vaccination before all this you know what started because with my COPD and all that stuff um, if I was to ever get pneumonia it would be a bad deal well, the doctor recommended I go ahead and take it so I did but the side effects for what I had yesterday the second shot only last 24 to 48 hours and I'm already feeling better and my doctor also recommended that 
I do not take a flu shot and I do not take any other shot vaccination wise so yesterday was my last one and you military guys know that at one point or another we had all kinds of stuff taken anyway so there we go I'm gonna let it sit for about a minute rinse it off good then I'll oil it real good we'll reclean these handles oh yeah I'll epoxy those handles on and let them dry good and we're just we're close very very close like I said I'm gonna try to finish it today all right there we go handles are epoxied on got the uh, copper caps on there that's to help keep the edges from splitting and those will be squared up a little bit when it all dries and give it a couple hours to dry when it dries I'm gonna drill a hole through each one and put a pin in there a brass pin so that'll give it some extra strength when you're pulling on it the epoxy will have 90% chance of holding it but We'll go ahead and put a pin in there just to make sure. All right, while that's drying, I'll uh, go work on a couple more I got to do. And for entertainment on the TV today, I have on the 1989 Daytona, I mean a Talladega 500. Back when racing was racing. <laughs> Not really watching it, just listening to it. All right, draw knife project is finished. All right, there it is right there. Maker's mark up here in the corner. Very sharp. Polished. And these are copper guards on the end. They are pinned with a eighth inch brass pin. Right there. Plenty of grip on the handles. Very large handles. And we look at the back side. And we still got the marks in there so we know what it is. But it's very smooth. It will not. Uh, grab a hold of your work very slight taper down here and ready to go now we have a cover sheath for it put that on there in just a minute uh, let's see overall length cutting edge is going to be about 13 and a half, 13 and three quarter inches. Overall, about, about at 16 inches. And at the end of the handles, about 20 inches. Now, this is a very large, very heavy draw knife. I hope this will do what you want it to. Uh, this guy's going to skin some tree bark, and I think it'll work just absolute perfect for that. Uh, put the sheath on it. And that's just to protect it, protect the blade. It's just a little bit of oil that'll soak in. Maker's mark on the letter, of course. There we go. Now, I hope y'all enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed doing it. And this one will be out in the mail. It is way too late to get to the post office today, so it's be out in the mail Monday. Uh, hopefully, I'll have a couple more to go out in the mail Monday, too. We'll see what happens the rest of the day. Uh, this afternoon I have a family fun day, family, family supper, family barbecue. So 
so we'll handle that this afternoon and tomorrow being Sunday I'll probably take off maybe even go on a little outing so uh, all work and no play is no good for nobody so <laughs> uh, I'll be back on the next video I'll show y'all some of the fun day and the cooking that's going to go on because I have a story to tell during that now it's uh, still a little cool out here for me but it is warming up grass is turning green it's going to be time to get the lawn mowers out here soon and the weed eaters and all that kind of stuff thank y'all for watching thank you for your support that's cool right there I like it and I'll see y'all next time.